Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play The Stanley Parable. Now it's a Half-Life 2 mod that a friend of mine said I should play, so... I'm gonna play it. I have no idea what it's really about other than... It's some kind of weird This is the story game. of a man so named Stanley. I'm gonna have a drink. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor next to his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Until... And then one day, I, something very go. peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on a monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and walked out into the hallway. This is where I take control. Yep. So like I said, I have absolutely no idea what's going on with this game. I also apologize for the frame rate. As you can see in the bottom right corner, I'm getting about 300 frames per second. So, I don't know why this is so low. I really want to apologize for that. Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co-workers. I think this he never not functioned gonna well so I'm gonna talk over him. and constantly needed um, support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude yeah, was terrifying actually. to him. So, um, the link to the mod will be down in the description. Um, it's actually classified as horror, so... I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if this is gonna get the shit's gonna get fucked. Soon when Stanley or, uh, came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Fuck the police! This was not the correct way to the employee lounge, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. So he turned left at the first open door and walked back in the right direction. So I think I'm actually gonna do. Um, I think this is probably gonna happen a lot. Like you say, okay, he did this. He do something different. So I, one thing I'm going to do is do like two playthroughs of this. One where I listen, and second where I don't. And this will be the listen. Part. And like that, he was back on track. I want the better one, because I think this one where I don't follow the rules is probably going to be the better run. So we'll just do it this way. And man, the frame rate is actually really terrible, according to the preview. As Stanley the, entered the lounge, recording. he was horrified to find not a single person here. He decided he would walk up to see his boss, Sorry, just hoping that he would find an answer there. I apologize for this. I'll try to fix this by the next episode. Um, I just know what's going Coming on. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs! Entering nice his office. manager's office, Although Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any that. human I bet life. I can open that. It was at this point that, that he began to feel like dizzy and a little sick, and even thought he might pass out when suddenly he noticed a keypad next to the filing cabinet in the corner of his boss's office. Stanley had never seen this panel before and had no idea what combination of numbers would produce any result. In fact, only Stanley's boss knew this, since the panel withheld access to the boss's greatest, darkest secret. And so he had assigned the keypad a combination that only he could possibly know, the number of his freshman dorm number in college. I'm just gonna take a guess. One, nine, five, seven. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley uh -huh. happened to input I the correct code by sheer ever. luck. Amazing. Stanley ventured forth into the newly opened passageway. Guys, I think I know why it's classified as horror now. I'm nervous. No, I need to be a man. Also, a few people were worried about this shirt. If it looks really weird, it's because it's an old style shirt. I decided to wear it. It's actually really comfortable. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm procrastinating. I shouldn't procrastinate. I'm just going to go forward. As he drew deeper into the bowels of the building, 
Stanley had no idea where he was or what this place held. And just as he began to think he might not discover a thing, he emerged into a long room to find... There's gonna be a jump scare. There's just gonna be a jump scare, I just know it. Maybe not. Rows and rows of monitors. Why did I jump? Screens with a number above it. Stanley noticed, however, that these were not random numbers, but the number of employees who worked in the building, his co-workers. Even his own number, 427, had a place on the wall. But why a setup so elaborate, he asked. Was this simple surveillance or something even more? And as if in answer to his question, the wall slid open before him, revealing the ultimate truth of the situation. An enormous control panel Stanley discovered, but not one that controlled simple machinery. Buttons were like labeled with emotions. Like Happy, sad, levers and knobs controlled actions. Walking, eating, doing work, or watching TV. Every input on this device monitored not the functions of a machine, but of a human being. And the reality began to sink in. Stanley, like so many other people, reduced to images on a monitor, had been under someone's control, always at the mercy of this machine. Could this have been the only reason employee number 427 was content with his boring job? That a machine had altered his emotions to accept it blindly? He began to feel an unbridled rage, and at the peak of his anger, something happened. A spark. Stanley looked up and saw the generator Oof. overhead, still providing some small amount of power to the machine, keeping it alive. That and knowing close. that this generator was all that kept the controls running, Stanley moved to the ladder in the back Aha. of the room and began to climb towards the rafters. There's going to be quite a bit of climbing, isn't it? Gonna get up there. Wouldn't this be like an incredibly bad idea just to walk into the generator? The higher Stan just climbed, me. the closer he felt to freedom. The you know, guys, I'm actually gonna try turning on B-Sync to see if that helps the video's frame rate. Um, ah, uh, sorry for doing this just in the middle of recording. I the just further from enslaved. Oh yeah, that seems to be a bit. No, it doesn't actually. It does not seem to be better at all. Uh, I'm really sorry for this. And wow, V-Sync is like not even working properly. I did have to say one, right? I'm sorry for doing this in the middle of recording, guys. I just... I want to go into this completely blindly, so I didn't really even bother setting up that much. Oh, it's not even that high of a frame rate for me now. I don't think I need that graph on anymore. That's gonna disable it. Blackness. Power gone. All alone. And then. As he stepped through the door, into the fresh outside air, a feeling of liberation rushed through Stanley's body. I can't beat City 17. He had seen power. He had seen enslavement. And he had destroyed it. Yeah, the underling awesome. was in control now. He had found his leading role. Stanley never discovered why everyone had gone missing. Nor how and when he had come under the machine's control. But it didn't upset him terribly, because he knew that this was how things were meant to happen. All he felt was a delight unlike any he had ever known before. I'll Never again would he follow someone else's orders without question. Never again would anyone tell Stanley where to go, what oh, to do, really or how wow. to feel. No more bosses. No more instructions on a screen. Yeah. Stanley decides for himself now. Yeah, and he stepped out into will. the world, and he felt the cool breeze upon his skin, and Stanley was happy. Yeah, happy ending. That's kind of ending.
Is that it? I guess so. So, uh, yeah, that was it. <laughs> so, uh, that was interesting, but, you know what? The Maha talked about free will, having all that now. Now that I've been free by a machine. So, part two will actually be up soon, uh, probably in the next couple of days. I'm going to have free will within this. This, it was classified under horror, so it might be patch shattering, or pants shattering, uh, scary. So, we'll see what that's like. But, uh, I just want to do this for now, and I'll do that, like I said, in the next couple of days. It's a nine-inch nail song, and the where did all this music come from? Wow, I had Maybe there is a lot more than uh, I knew of. Anyway, I'll just close out of this game now. Um, but, yeah, that was an interesting little mod. And I'll get further into it in the next coming day. So, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned in for the next part. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.